Well, it's all hands on deck. More people are now joining the search for Steve Keel. Welcome back to News 2 at 4. I'm Alex Dennis. And I'm Mark Kelly. Keel is the Dover man reported missing in Alaska while on a hunting trip. I spoke with his wife today. She says she is so grateful that people are risking their own lives to find her husband. When these four men learned that Steve Keel was missing in Alaska, they hopped on a plane to Fairbanks. They're going to go up there, search, rescue or recovery, whatever it takes, and they've made plans for both. Steve's wife, Liz, says she is so grateful that these men, Chad Worrell, James Pelham, Lucas Smith and David Keel, have military and search and rescue experience. They're very experienced. Steve has been missing more than a week. He was hunting in Alaska with a hunting partner. They flew into Fairbanks August 20th. On the 28th, Steve was reported missing. Neighbors here at home tell me that after hunting caribou, the two men briefly separated. It was supposed to be no more than an hour, but Steve never returned. Steve's sons flew to Alaska to search for their father, but just returned home with no sign of their dad. They're, of course, very sad that they were unsuccessful at finding their dad. That would have been their greatest joy. Hope is not lost. She has faith in these four men and the support pouring in from all over the country for her husband. We've had calls from Montana, Idaho, Washington State, Alaska, New York, New Jersey, Florida, Virginia, all over Tennessee. It's, it's just been amazing. So, you know, people are so good. God is so good. She's holding out hope. Those four men will land in Fairbanks tonight. Then they drive about 300 miles to Steve's campsite and begin their search for Steve first thing tomorrow morning.